This is Pablo Picasso's oil, Tête d'Homme, which was painted in 1969 and intended for an exhibition which Picasso organized, a one-man show of works from 1969 and 1970, which was put on at the Papal Palace in Avignon in 1970. The palace in Avignon is a spectacular and very important ancient building. It's enormous in scale, it has beautiful Gothic architecture. It was ideally suited for the monumentality of Picasso's oils from this period. You can see in archival photos of the installation how dramatic and successful it was. Each of the works that were in that show were handpicked by Picasso for inclusion. There are many different techniques being employed all in one canvas. He is achieving very strong, bold marks, but simultaneously in other areas of the canvas, he has this looser, feathery application where you can really see each of the brush strokes overlapping. And in my favorite part, particularly in the figure's beard, you see where Picasso has used presumably the back of the brush to actually scrape away paint and incise the surface to create this incredible effect. You could speculate that he's wearing almost a military uniform, but it's not clear. It could also be a nod to the striped shirt which Picasso was so famous for wearing during the 1960s. He is still painting a part of himself and has these sort of avatars which represent aspects of his personality and different times in his life. So while he's at the end of his life and looking back, He's remembering these moments and reliving them via these characters. At this point in his career, Picasso is married to Jacqueline Roque and had a habit of using her signature red nail polish to sign his works, which is what he's done in this case. Picasso painted portraits at this period which were 20 inches tall, and this at over 40 inches is impactful in its scale. It's meant to be strong and to be large and to be visually impressive both in the way that it's made and also just by the virtue of being so big. Mm -hmm. 